Ooh, another day, another dollar. I just got in from work and I have gonna get ready for a photo shoot this evening. It's a warm and sticky one, I'll tell you. Um, so, what am I doing? Well, I haven't made any video blogs for well over a month. Uh, didn't do one in June at all. Um, we've, we, I, have had a problem with uh, my computer. The motherboard went a bit weird. Wouldn't read the USB card slots. So we had to get that sorted out. That took three, four weeks. Um, but we got that sorted out. Uh, I did have a couple of blogs to put on, but lost them because I forgot to back them up. My fault, but in the process of getting the motherboard repaired, well, replaced, I lost the two blogs that I'd already got. And by the time all that was done, I'd lost my mojo for video blogging. Um, I've made half made a couple of blogs ready to put up but really weren't all that interested but we're back on the trail now so uh, tonight I'm off to do a video shoot not a video shoot a photo shoot for a friend of mine called Joe Joe and his dad who I've known for many many years best pals uh, they run um, a soccer six aside five aside six aside league and occasionally I go down and take team photos on their presentation evening. So what I thought I'd do is do a video blog about going and doing that. So I'm going to run through, before we get off down there, I'm going to run through what equipment I'm going to be using and then we'll get off down to Cheadle. Not the one near Manchester, the other one. And we'll do the video, the photo shoot for the football teams. So next up, is what equipment I'm going to be using. So let's have a look at that. So this is the bare equipment that I'm going to be taking along this evening. Um, as I said, it's a shoot for some football teams. Uh, and basically they're six aside and I just take the team photos when they come off playing their first game. Uh, so I'll have, well let's go through what we've got first. First of all, is the trusty old 6D. Is that getting in focus? There it is. That's the trusty old 6D Mark 1 with the Tamron 24 to 70 f 2.5 image stabilized lens. Then we'll have the, let me turn them around so you can see them. The Young Norb 622C things. They are wireless transmitters to work the flash. Um, the top one goes on the camera and the other two go on the flashes. There's obviously a rocket blower and there'll be a cloth in the bag, a microfiber cloth to get rid of any dust, lens caps in case I need them. And then the two Young Noir flashes. These, by the way, are fantastic flashes. They, they've never let me down and they're nice and powerful and a fraction of the price of the proprietary ones. I thoroughly recommend the Young Noir stuff for flashes and wireless systems, not necessarily for lenses. And then right at the end we've got spare SD cards in there, spare batteries for the flashes in there, in that one and a spare battery for the camera there there's also let me focus on it if i can the little wind muff in case it's a bit blowy and that's it basically nice little simple setup we'll have the flashes on a pair of light stands and i'll have the camera um on the black rapid strap and it's nice and simple so that's the gear next stop is to get ourselves off to uh, what did I say it's called it's not the one near Manchester uh, Cheadle so we're going to go to Cheadle I think Steve's coming along with us so you might see Steve in the car but we'll get off to Cheadle and we'll do the photo shoot that's next
wide enough for that car stuff. Joe! Steve! <laughs> Sit up for that. <laughs> no, I thought you were taking a picture. <laughs> no, I'm videoing. It's oh. going on YouTube channel. <laughs> um, run through the... We're here. People playing football and and stuff. And this is my setup. So, talking you through it. There's... Where's the other one? <coughs> Two flashes that you may should be able to see. There, on light stands. What power are they on? We'll have a look. I'm just going to turn it around so that you can see the camera. Can you see that? If I shade it, focus on that. Is it focusing on it? Come on, focus. So they're on 1 16th power. And the camera itself let me flip the screen back up and get it back on me. There we go. The camera itself is ISO 800, uh, 1 25th of a second, F8. So that just brings the background that's going to be that lot uh, underexposed ever so slightly and the flash bang on exposed. Uh, and it's just a case now of waiting for that lot in there to finish the game it's not focusing very well tonight but it's a bit gloomy anyway we're waiting for them to finish their game and then we'll take the photos and then we're gonna bugger off home aren't we pal <laughs> well you are <laughs> I am Steve's here as well uh, we use new acquisition. Look, Steve's taking photos. Say hello. 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 <laughs> Anybody can be a knobhead on YouTube and do this. Anybody. You can say whatever you like. So let's have a look at the setup. We got two flashes on light stands six foot apart. Uh, and then we were looking at having the teams in two rows about seven, eight yards away from me taking the photograph. I was going to stand right in the middle of the flashes with my camera, uh, which I'd set up to be ISO 800 F8 in order to get um, both lines in focus with a depth of field and a shutter speed of 1 25th which was allowing me to slightly underexpose the background the flashes were on manual and I set them at 1 16th which was the correct exposure for uh, that those settings for the camera the shutter speed started at 1 25th but I kept rolling it down as the evening got darker so that's a recap of the settings we under fence, about eight yards away. Yeah, I'm putting my shaft on, aren't you? Bit of a 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 bit Another one, one more, back line, front line on your back foot, front line on that foot. How many is it? One, two, three, seven. Can we have, lads, the four tallest stood at the back, the three shorties <laughs> knelt in front. Are you caught? I'm Yeah, come for it, those that are kneeling need to be at next line. There you go. <laughs> now. Back line, I want you to take a pace that way. Stop. Here you go. Just let me get an exposure on that. I'm going to take two photographs, lads. Uh, I'm going to count to three for both. Ready? Big cheesy greens on three. Alright? Are you a champion? Yeah, yeah, that's why you've got to go. <laughs> Think it through, Molly. <laughs> Two, three. 
And one more just in case anybody's blinking. Two, three. Beautiful. Now, uh, all that took place yesterday. Uh, and I was going to do a piece to camera on the way home in the car. But the battery went. So there's a lesson to be learnt there. Always make sure your batteries are charged up. And that you've got a spare. Particularly if it's an important job. It was only on the video camera. Uh, the stills camera was fine. Anyway. Got home. Applied a little bit of processing. Mainly just to crop and straighten the horizon. Because I always tend to shoot with a flying elbow. Uh, uh, which makes my images slightly crooked at times. But thanks to Lightroom and Photoshop we can tweak that. And just made sure that the levels were fine, but there wasn't a lot to do because we got it right in camera for the most part. Um, and so that's it. Thanks to Joe. Thanks to Steve for coming along and helping with the video. Really enjoy going down and seeing Joe and the football lads. Um, and I hope you've enjoyed it. See you next time. Take the photos.